Cicely Tyson spent much of her career playing strong black women, overcoming struggles. She recently sat down with CBS This Morning's Gail King. Whenever I'm offered a script, what I'm interested in when I get it is why me. Who was that character and why did they want me to play it? And when I get to the point where I feel like her skin has fitted my arm, or my mind, then I know there's something about her. From a sharecropper's wife to a former slave, Tyson embraced her roles with vigor and humility. Born in Harlem to West Indian immigrants in 1924, Tyson started her career as a model who transitioned into playing bit parts. I was a very shy, shy child. If you got 15 minutes of words out of me, you got plenty. You know, I was a thinker. But her career was delayed until her 30s, when she found herself pregnant at 17 and in an unhappy marriage that only lasted two years. What are you doing, Mom? <laughs> her breakthrough performance came in 1972, playing Rebecca, the wife of a Louisiana sharecropper in Sounder, a performance that won her an Oscar nomination. I'm born on 10 years old. She received widespread acclaim two years later with a versatile performance as former slave from the ages of 23 to 110 years old and the autobiography of Miss Jane Pittman. That role came just as black women were beginning to get lead roles and earned a Tyson two Emmys. The Kennedy Center honoree also won countless other awards, including a Tony and an honorary Oscar. What are you doing, honey, a girl? Tyson appeared in more than 100 roles on stage and screen in a career that spanned seven decades. Her most recent was in 2020 in the Tyler Perry movie, A Fall from Grace. Don't make me go back there. She said all of her roles were her favorites. Tyson was married twice. Her last marriage was to the late jazz icon Miles Davis. They divorced in 1989. President Obama awarded Tyson our nation's highest civilian honor, the Medal of Freedom, in 2016. Chris Martinez, CBS News.